All right, just gotta get the eight ball right there. And yep, that seems about right. Wait, 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 wait. So if you didn't know, Splatoon's 2 Octo Expansion DLC was released, and I caught that ASAP. Ever since I saw the first trailer at the Nintendo E3 Direct, I was excited. Not simply just because it was a DLC for Splatoon, but a really, really cool looking DLC. If you didn't know, I'm a sucker for a story and a <coughs> plot. So when this was revealed to go into more of the lore and depth of Splatoon and the Oclings, I was hooked. Also, the whole theme and vibe of it just looked really weird and cool, and I just love it. In the DLC, you wake up as Agent 8 and your memory has been lost. Your fellow teammate Captain Cuttlefish goes with you to the train station in hopes that you'd make it to Inkopolis on the surface of the world. There's just so much to love if you like Splatoon. There's all these hilarious conversations between Captain Cuttlefish, Marina, and Pearl in the group chat you're in, and they always manage to make me chuckle. Also, the group chat has such a retro vibe. I mean, look at it! These chats have some really interesting story elements, so definitely give them a look. Anyway, the whole underground world is just so cool. There's so many creatures that you get to meet. And this little devil, that is just terrifying. I mean, look at that. This DLC is tough. Like, really tough. But I mean it when I say it. It is a challenge, and I am so glad for this. I love a good challenge, and this is definitely one. Plus, the levels are just so, so much more fun than the story mode ones. The story mode is fine, and the bosses are pretty fun. I just found myself enjoying the Octo Expansion levels way more interesting. So you're put in plenty of various different situations like taking an 8-ball to the end of the course without it falling off the cliff, or defeating a bunch of enemies, but the turf you're on is the boxes that break when your ink lands on them. At first, I didn't think there was anything going to surprise me, but there was. There's 80 levels total and each level knows how to be fun and unique. I had so much fun with each of these challenges, from the 8-ball one to the, you know, bosses, and even the rail one! I hate the rail one, by the way. I had to turn on motion controls. Yes, I don't use motion controls. Get off my case. But after wasting 80,000 points and retrying over and over, I finally beat it. Oh yeah, and what makes this DLC such a challenge is that you have a certain amount of points. Each level costs a certain amount of credits, so don't lose all your credits. Every time you lose a life or die, it just feels way more penalizing than what it would feel like in the Splatoon story mode or something else. I love the DLC. As much of a challenge as it can be, it is a fun and exciting one. You can probably guess my review on the DLC. I hate it. Nah, I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, I am so happy I got this DLC because this is DLC done right. 20 bucks is well worth the price for this DLC, I promise you. I saw people kind of skeptical when they saw the $20 mark, but honestly, $20 is a fine price for it. This DLC is packed with story, gameplay, challenge, and so much more. Honestly, it's well worth the price, so get it if you have it. Also, the new Splatfest is coming up with Octos vs. Inklings. I'm on Team Octos all the way. I'm super excited for this one because I'm actually going to go try hard in it to support, you know, my Octo squad or whatever. I, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what team you're on because I'm going to be on Octos. If you're on Inklings, you will be my arch nemesis, but hey, to each their own. Anyway... With 80 missions total, a super cool vibe, and a great challenge, with more lore to the story of Splatoon and the Octlings, it's a 5 out of 5 Dingani verified. Aw oh man, only if ARMS had these updates and, you know, the lore of Splatoon. I talked about ARMS if you want to check it out, it's a great game just with so little depth. Anyway, if you don't have the DLC already, I highly recommend it, and if you do, let me know if you've been enjoying it in the comments. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. We have something very important to talk about. The whole YouTube animator thing didn't work out. So now I'm a door-to-door -door questionnaire man, and I live in a box.